also legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. I, I, that's I don't gotta I don't gotta listen to nothing else. That's it. I, I, that's it. That's it. Nothing more has to be said. The point is proven at this point. The, oh my gosh. What's popping, YouTube family? It's your girl, Tylin. We back with another one. So I reviewed the Collis Fire in the Booth Part 4. And I said, if y'all gave me 200 likes, I will review his Part 1. Well, those likes are way over 300. So y'all was like, listen, you need to review Part 1. So we here, baby. Shout out to my UK fam, man. Loving y'all support. Loving y'all interactions. Y'all always be dropping the gems on me too. Um, I feel like I've learned so much about Akala just from y'all comments. So that's super lit. But anyways, man, we gonna go ahead and break it. Because don't nobody break it the way we break it. Because when we break it, we break it all the way down. Let's get into it, y'all. It's, it's a sniper on the roof. All right, folks. Let's do it. I know you're gonna dig this. Oh, yeah. I know. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Why is my man looking like a baby? This was like, what, 10, 10 years ago? 10, 11 years ago? Yo, he really looked like a youth them. Okay, yo. Yo. I like you. You're like a tiger. Yes, I grew up on a door in a single parent family. Been through a little bit of tragedy. Yes, I was around drugs and violence before the day that I started secondary. That's part of it, not half of it. Get the picture, the rest ain't necessary. Growing up, got a little... Okay. I see what we doing here. He just laid the foundation. He said, listen, I grew up with a single parent. I grew up in poverty around all the things. But listen... That's not even half. That's only a part. But the point is, I don't have to explain all of that. You get the point. I came from humble beginnings. I'm here for it. Talk your talk. Tell them it wasn't easy getting here. And that's another thing. I'm going to rewind it a little bit because y'all keep saying, please rewind it a couple of seconds because you're missing bars. So this is the thing. I don't typically miss the bars. Um, I just don't stop for all of them. That's all it is. Otherwise, I'd be stopping every three seconds. I pick and choose the bars to me that I'm like, oh, I want to elaborate on that one. Or that one was really witty or really funny to me. Um, but that's all it is, y'all. But I'm going to rewind, though, because I appreciate y'all. appreciate me appreciating y'all, I, I think. All right. <laughs> The day that I started secondary, that's part of it, not half of it. Get the picture, the rest ain't necessary. Yeah. Growing up, got a little caught up. That ain't even half of my life. Also, given the knowledge of self, that is all we actually need to survive. If you saw me, age nine, reading Malcolm, just fine. Teacher still. I know you lying. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Show me some footage. Roll the footage. This man said reading Malcolm at age nine? No, I believe it. If he doing lectures at like uh, Oxford. He was definitely reading Malcolm at age nine. What? And he don't got no kids still? I mean, from part four, he said he ain't have no kids. He still don't got no babies? Boy, you better pass them genius genes down. What is we doing? Treated me stupid students that couldn't speak English to put me in groups with. The irony is some of the first man to give me schooling. You were cool. Just so y'all know, I didn't miss anything, even though I didn't rewind. I heard what he said right after Neith. Uh, not after me, Lord. Right afterwards, after he uh talked about reading Malcolm at age nine, he said in school they still treated him like he was um remedial in essence. Um, and I cannot like I can't speak enough on like how much that happens to black kids here in America in the school system. Um, teachers jumping the gun and putting them in like remedial classes or special ed classes. I don't know what y'all call it. Um, and it's just like, not all kids need those. Not all kids really have like IEP needs. You know what I'm saying? Um, but teachers sometimes are so quick to look at, excuse me, like a, what a kid looks like, um, see that they may have maybe some struggles or even will, um, project that they may have certain struggles that they don't even have and then like try to 
put them in, like I said, special ed courses and stuff like that. It's crazy. Gangsters. How you already explained that we know what the truth well, let me rewind it. Just fine. Teachers still treated me stupid. Students that couldn't speak English, they put me in groups with. The irony is, some of the first man to give me schooling, you were called gangsters. How you already explained that on. we know what the truth is. They used to say, don't be like me. Yeah, I got a name and don't on the street. Nighttime comes, I can't sleep. It's the part that rappers don't speak. We don't hit the road because we're thugs. Don't come out the room, want to sell drugs. If we got the right guidance and love, would we... Oh, oh I love this. Y'all were right. <laughs> Y'all were right. He said, we don't come out the womb wanting to sell drugs, wanting to be in the street, wanting to do drive-bys. We're not born like that. Circumstances predispose children to things. Don't ever get it twisted. Environment, circumstances, a.k.a. poverty, a.k.a. lack of resources, a.k.a. Um, literally having to start so far behind the start line. You feel me? Come on. Nighttime comes, I can't sleep. It's the part that rappers don't speak. We don't hit the road because we're thugs. Don't come out the room, want to sell drugs. If we got the right guidance and love, would we fight people just like us? How can I knock the hustle to get by? How do you think I ate as a child? Judge no one, done many things wrong. Just don't boast about it in songs, but listen to my older bars. I was just as confused as you probably are, but you grow when you learn. Travel one, cut one too many man, you know, get caught. One too many man that could have been doctors end up spending the whole life boxed up. You. <laughs> It's a process. It's a journey. He like, listen, when I was younger and I was rapping, I was talking about the same stuff that y'all was, right? Because it's just what I was exposed to. But all it is knowledge um, that became, um, or I should say like whatever resources, classes that became accessible to him and all this knowledge that he exposed himself to that's what changed like his mind right um just being informed even like how he said like knowledge of self all of that stuff can make you do a 180 like him saying like there's people out there who probably got minds of doctors and they could have been doctors but their circumstances um now have led them down the path to where it's like when you look at them you would never think yeah you can be something like a doctor no nah, you were probably already paying them to be like you're a thug it's crazy, man. You learn if you study, so set out just to make them one too many man, you know, get caught. One too many man that could have been doctors end up spending the whole life boxed up. You learn if you study, so set out just to make Oh yeah, and that's another thing too, because he also said like they end up boxed up. So like um almost like life course persistent offenders, which I ain't about to give y'all a whole sociology or criminology lesson here, because y'all ain't got time for that. Um, but like you get put in situations because you're in poverty, then you get in trouble and then you get out of trouble. Then you get back into trouble. And eventually that leads to you continually being an offender, continually being locked up and you know, you end up in prison and then ultimately all your potential is wasted. So it's crazy. Make them money, no cover. It's all about getting poor man that could have been doctors and not spending the whole life boxed up. You learn if you study, so set out just to make them money, no cover. It's all about getting poor people to fight with one another, so it's not cool that us killing our Come brothers. On. This and our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our time, but time is a cycle, not a line. Coming back around, you regain your mind. Oh, wee! Oh, D listen, yo, I need to meet this guy. Time is a circle. It's not a line. First of all, I have so many theories on time and how time is not linear. I'm not even about to get into that. Just come on. But so it's not cool that us killing our brothers, this and our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our time. But time is a cycle, not a line. Coming back around, you regain your mind. You be ready for the energy I challenge in my rhyme. Remedy the pedigree, the jeopardy your mind when the world is left it is a crime. We can all fight with the brothers over crumbs. Harder to fight the one who makes guns. We can all talk sh get two dollars. Harder to be the one who seeks knowledge. If we understood Ooh. economics with no money's nothing think nothing of it money is a means to get wealth not the wealth itself and don't get confused far from broke <laughs> all the this man is schooling this was 11 years ago he's definitely genius level status now if this is what his mind was doing 11 years ago and he looked like a baby which he's probably like 26 27 i don't know but he just just compared to now he looks very young um what you see me do i own but i won't hang what i make about my neck i know from where that the diamond 
Money Not bag. the wealth itself and don't get confused far from broke. All that you see me do, I own, but I won't hang what I make around my neck. I know from where that the diamonds came, but I do literally own a library. <laughs> Oh, it's another thing. Unpopular opinion. Moissanite stones over diamonds. Put it down in the comments. Moissanite or diamond? I'm team Moissanite. I ain't gonna lie. Like these is diamonds that are in the stones and I have like in my rings and stuff like that. I say in these stones in this setting. Um, but I think I'm officially switching over to Moissanites. It's more ethical, more y'all, y'all do your own research. E any, anyways, that's right. Don't get that money and just throw it around your neck. Cause I know where them diamonds came from. It's unethical. Come on. Do I own, but I won't hang what I make around my neck. I know from where that the diamonds came, but I do literally own a library that definitely costs more than your chain and businesses oh. and property far from stuff. Yeah. And I eat quite properly yeah. and I don't care. Just said it for the kids. You need to know you're not broke to listen. Don't know what I set from a liability. They've never been shown nor told the difference. So talk that economic talk. What? You don't know the difference between the asset and the liability, but it's not your fault because you never been taught. I'm to eat quite properly and I don't care. Just said it for the kids. You need to know you're not broke to listen. Don't know what asset from a liability. They've never been shown nor told the difference. So they don't change situation. Which is mine in Britain is Asian. That's significant. Oh. Not coincidence. Asian people build businesses not by flossing, going out shopping, giving up the culture for everyone's profit. Who runs Bollywood? It oh, man. The, I mean... I yeah there's so much like this man is a walking book you want to know something literally just put on probably any of his freestyles he's a walking book they don't change situation which is mine in britain is asian that's significant not coincidence asian people build businesses not by flossing going out shopping giving up the culture for everyone's profit who runs talk about indian it. people who runs our fish so we shake our ass Ooh. and dance as if racism just upped and vanished but has it no it's right on course you're beating so bad you're trained to ignore let me not just make sweeping statements Ooh. give me a second i'll explain it for small amounts of drug possession there's more black people in jail in america the net is for rape and armed robbery and murder all put together you Talk about it. Talk about it. I'm going I'm to let him speak because I feel like he's going to continue to break it down. But I could talk about the prison system in America, how it was literally just another caste system, another form of slavery for black people. Come talk about it. Give me a second, I'll explain it. For small amounts of drug possession, there's more black people in jail in America. The net is for rape and armed robbery and murder all put together. You can say they're just locking up tugs. Imagine they're in prison every middle class kid that had ever held drugs. Oh, that's right, that'd be your kids. Bigger than that, what is going on with this prison in America's private business? To get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait, also legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. Cheap slaves. I, I, that's, I don't gotta, I don't gotta listen to nothing else. That's it. I, I, that's it that's it nothing more has to be said the point is proven at this point D oh my gosh wow and just to think all this time i've never heard of this man not until like i reviewed the daily w which i'm so glad that y'all recommended the fire in the booth because like i told y'all the daily w that did not give me a good impression of him but that's crazy. He's like a hidden gem. Y'all really got... He's special, man. Bigger than that, what is going on with this prison in America's private business? To get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait. Also legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. Cheap slave labor. Big corporations that come out of jail when they can't get a job. So when we celebrate right. going to jail, we are literally celebrating in slavery. Come on. Add to that, that the hood that you live in. Engineered social condition that breeds crime by design. Where do you think you get your... And you can say that they're just Ooh. black, but I like to oh. deal with facts. In the 1920s, you would have found in America, black towns, prospering centers of economics to educate to make you proud but some people couldn't bear that the former slaves would not just lie down to the kkk and other hate groups burn those towns to the ground killing hundreds Come on. if it ain't understood you think you were always living in the hood it's only been 60 years since the hung blacks and burn them and that was so cool they were your baskets picnic baskets even gave kids the day off school go see it yeah this man is definitely a scholar top Tear scholar. Put some respect. Mr. Akala, 
Mr. Akala, from here on out. That's what I'm calling him. Talk about it. Hundreds if it ain't understood You think you were always living in the hood It's only been 60 years Since the hung blacks and burn them And that was so cool They were your baskets Picnic baskets Even gave kids the day off school Go see a lynching Have a picnic It's fun to watch Crazy. the little monkeys die And people act a little dysfunctional You wanna pretend that you don't know why If your colour means you can be killed And you're powerless to get justice about it Is it difficult to figure out How you would then end up feeling about it And that ain't excuses Man. Just dealing with the roots of abuses That make a reality Where a generation of young men Speak of ourselves as dirt Casually That's America This Britain Something similar well, some different in this country the first enslaved with the working class was changed worst jobs worst Ooh. conditions most tax look where you live and yet you go to the pub friday night you will fight with a guy don't know what for won't fight with a guy suit and a tie who send your kids to die in a war they don't send the kids to the rich to the politician it's your kids the poor british the same wow it's really levels to this this man is giving so much knowledge and so much game I see why he teaches, like, at a university. It's only right. It's only right. That's th Those are the only people who are going to be able to actually digest this information. And then, well, obviously, people who are actually, like, open-minded, pay attention to what's going on, and they have some sort of interest in the quality of life. Um, and, and for, for us personally, in America, and then, I guess, for people who are from the UK, like the quality of life of people in, in those various places and just various countries, period. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to pay attention because I feel like that is what empowers people. Like when you start to understand that, like you didn't always start here. And then also the reason why you're here is not as simple as what you can see in your micro system. You got to literally look outside of that. You got to look at the meso and the macro and then everything will start to make sense, which will then give you more power to say, hold up, hold up. I can change this. I can change this. I have more potential than this. This is not all there is. This is not all there ever was. Come on. To go and die in a foreign land For these wars that you don't understand Yeah they say you are British And that lovely patriotism they feed you But in reality you have more in common With immigrants than with your leaders I know Come on. Both sides of my family Black and white A fed ghetto mentality Reality in this system Ooh. Poor people are dirt regardless of shade But with that said Let's not pretend that everything is the same When our grandparents came here to Britain If you had a criminal record you couldn't get in That ain't protected for all of the stupid, stupid abuses They would be living Kicked in the teeth Stabbed in the streets Many times firebombed our houses Put feces through our letterbox And of course the cops did so much about it daily up to the 80s people spitting in my palm because i was a goofy baby but of course that's had no effect on why today we are crazy and I talk to him makala tell him hold that mirror up to yourself hold that mirror up yeah come on mr akala i apologize look at me i forgot already come on Fishies through our letterbox and of course the cops did so much about it daily up to the 80s people spitting in my palm because I was a goofy baby but of course that has had no effect on why today we are crazy and none of this was for any good reason they were just dark and grieving to ease the guilt now for all of this treatment constant stereotypes and needed so if I celebrate how big the money no, that are flipping clips that are sticking chicks that I'm hitting I'm playing my position but if I teach a kid to be a mathematician messing with the schism how they gonna fill a prison when materialism is no longer our religion what do you think we got now in Britain just like America private prison prison for profit that mean when your kids go jail people make money off it so keep environments to breed crime build more jails at the same time market badness to the kids in the rhymes as long as rich kids ain't dying it's fine it's a cycle oh it's all a setup listen the whole line of things that he is going down is literally just talking about the school to prison pipeline in essence it starts when you are young feed you misinformation um feed you a particular type of media paint these particular stereotypes about you and your people, um, take away particular resources from your community, give you minimal access to the things that you actually need. You already got this mentality. You already got this lack of resources. What you about to go out there and do? Exactly what they set you up to do. And where you going to end up? In prison. And who making money off of prison? Come on. Get them to the point where some are so lost that you believe if they don't celebrate killing themselves off. 
that it's because their soft was Malcolm soft, was Marley soft. Tell me, was Marcus Garvey soft? Well, was it <coughs> Ali soft? Nah, nah, I think not, but they want us to think that the road is cool. Being on board is all we could do. We don't control the whole cell production, so who benefits from us moving the food? Or thinking there's no way out of old life, but Malcolm X used to hustle on the roadside. And Marcus Garvey organized more than six million people with no Facebook or Twitter. Why is it Come on. you can't eat? Ish. One of my own homeboys did a 10 straight in the boxing yard. Now what's he doing? Passing his doctorate. Don't tell me that it's too hard. Who trained you to believe you're inferior? Your song won't ever though in Nigeria are the remains of an ancient moat dug 1,000 years ago. 20 meters wide, 70 down. Round the remains of an ancient town that's 400 square miles around. 400 square miles around. This man is in a booth working out. This is lifting weights in the booth. If you ain't in a booth and you sweating like this, you, you ain't doing enough. What? Break it down. Dug 1,000 years ago, 20 meters wide, 70 down. Round the remains of an ancient town that's 400 square miles around. 400 square miles around. Please, please don't believe me. It was a documentary on BBC, but we ain't studying history. Too busy watching MTV. And MTV Come on. said, we're platinum. Now everybody <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This this all definitely speaks to how dated this is. He was talking about Facebook and Twitter. Now he's talking about sorry, that's my dog. Now he's talking about some watching MTV. That's funny. Believe me, it was a documentary on BBC, but we ain't studying history. Whoa. Too busy watching MTV. And MTV said, wear platinum. Now everybody wanna go and wear platinum. And MTV said, pop magnums. Now everybody wanna go and pop magnum. If MTV said, drink prune juice, you will start hearing that in tune soon. Hey, today you're warm, I can't hear. Is it now more important what I got to say? Oh, and I drive Come a Mercedes, on. by the way, so everybody listen to what I got to say. <laughs> Does that make you all happy? Ah, oh, but she's, if my head's still nappy, think for myself. Right. So some mad at me, but on the mic, can't not one batters me. All of this here's good for the rhymes. Put us in the same place at the same time and it's clear to everybody I'm out of my mind some of these guys are running out of their rhymes clear to everybody that has got ears I'm the guy that they just might fear that they want to get near but they can't have a peer all day I'm hard looking you just like beer front on the kid for another five years <laughs> come to my shows and some criteria mean that much come on. it's a movement I don't speak for myself but a unit black white man woman anyone who respects truth we put in dudes are like no dinner we're just pudding yeah you're sweet but no substance pudding you can never ever be with a level He was trying to be polite. He was. He was trying to be intellectually mean, but he was trying to be polite. But he had that moment where he had to be like, you're a little too sweet, sweetheart. <laughs> Come on. I'm here for it. I don't speak for myself, but a unit, black, white, man, woman, anyone who respects truth, we put in. Dudes are like no dinner, we're just pudding. Yeah, you're sweet, but no substance pudding. You can never Come ever on. be with a level on. All songs get played out there in Lebanon. We speak for the people properly, not for the old fat guys in offices and the girls like, Come on. ain't fair, you can't even be bothered to comb his hair. Anyway, that's enough kissing my own ass. Back to the more important task of being so shower. I've got half the hood screaming, knowledge is power. And I ain't saying that'll change that, that, but I do know this for a fact. Right now, there's a you on your block with his hands on his face screwed up, so he don't don't care, don't give up, that he won't let nobody call his bluff, but the words go in. Open your shack covers, once that's happened, there is no going back, or would you start to see what is really happening? Who the enemy you should be attacking is? So read, 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 stuck on the block, read, read, sitting in the box, Come on. read, read, don't let them say what you read, can achieve. Read. Cause when people are enslaved, one of the first things they do is stop them reading. Cause it Thanks. is well understood that intelligent people will take their freedom. Cause if we knew our power, we would understand we can't be held down if we knew our power. We would not elevate not one of these clowns if we knew our power. We wouldn't get arrogant when we get two pennies if we knew our power. Come on. We would see what everybody sees that we're rich already. But never mind, MCs go run for your mummy. I'm hungry, I run for my tummy. That's enough. Back to worshiping money. I'm off. Back to the study. Man! Wow. Wow. There are no words, but there are so many words. This guy, he's really in a, forget a lane of his own. He is in a whole town of his own. So it's not, he get every road. Every one of them is his. That's how different he is. That's how special he is. Like the mind that God gave this man, his ability to retain information the way that he does, his ability to articulate the information the way that he does. Not everybody can do that. Sorry, but everybody don't have that gift. He does. Man, 
I'll keep reiterating it and he's using it for the best possible purposes. Incredible. I, man, man, I'm mind blown once again. Like I got to go watch the other ones. I don't know if I'm going to react to them, but I'm going to personally watch them just for myself. Um, this guy just gives so much to digest. Like you talking about like a full course, forget all the appetizers and the finger foods that you get out of most music. No, this man going to give you some sustenance talking about you going to walk away full when I'm done. I'm going to crack a couple jokes here and again. I'm going to throw in a little bit of sarcasm. But when it's all said and done, bottom line is you're going to get this teaching for sure. Oh, man. Fire, man. And it's it's crazy that it's, it's so consistent because this was 11 years ago, obviously. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm utterly impressed. Y'all really got one. <laughs> Y'all, and as a matter of fact, not just one, y'all got several. I say that anytime I like somebody, I'd be like, oh, y'all got one. Like if, if it's an artist from another state here in the States, I'm like, oh, they got one. Um, him, man, he really is. He's a town of his own. <laughs> forget road, forget lane. He's a town of his own, period. Uh, leave me some more recommendations, man. Let's get this video to 250 likes. I appreciate y'all. The support is amazing. That's my dog again. We are almost at 3K subscribers. Make sure y'all share these videos. Invite your people to watch them. You know, it's all love over this way. And I don't have anything else. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. And until the next video, God bless y'all. I'm out. Peace. It's, it's a sniper on the road.